Emacs finally made a motor everybody wants. <laughs> In this video today, I'm going to talk about motors for racing. This is my LS210. This is the uh, quadcopter I usually race with. I like this one because it flies awesome and I've won a couple of races with it. This is using 1806 motors and they're 2300 kV. And I run this on 4S with uh, 5045 propellers. And this has done, done me real well. The problem I've been having is that people have started using uh, three blade props and stronger motors than me. And on straightaway races where there's a lot of long runs, this thing does not have the speed to keep up. The other problem this has now is it's also on U-turns. It also doesn't have enough uh, grams of thrust to spin around the corners very well. Well, to try to counter that, I've picked up a, well, I've had this uh, VDQ-210 for quite a while, but I've been putting, I put on some 2633 kV motors on here, and these are 2205 motors, and can you see it? There it is, 2205 motors, and this has tri-blades. And this is what I plan on racing uh, next, have, having my VDQ-210 with the tri-blade props and a higher kV motors. And I think this will do a lot, or do real well. Now, a lot of people, and even in the drone racing leagues and the uh, race they had over in Dubai, they started using Emax motors like this. And they call these the red bottom motors because they have a red bottom on them. Now, these are supposed to be really awesome motors. Now, these run at 2300 kV, and according to some specs, they put out over a thousand grams of thrust with a, a 5045 prop. It comes with some uh, mounting screws and some other mounting screws. I think it just depends on what size of frame you're going to put it on. It comes with uh, three prop nuts, <laughs> which is really nice in case you lose them. They're lock they're lock nuts, so I don't know how you'd actually lose these. But I think they either they either come with two or three. This one came with three. I think they usually only come with two. Oh well, I got some other ones we can look at, but. It also comes with the uh, Allen wrench or the hex key so you can put the screws into the bottom. These are supposed to have a lot more grams of thrust than the other motors that I've been using. I checked the other three motors and they do indeed come with the three prop nuts, which is very nice. Okay, so here's this breakout. You, there's there's uh, gram uh, thrust ratings all over the internet, but these are kind of what the ones that I found for what I've been running. I've been running 1806 2300 kV motors and they put out 500 grams of thrust on a 5045 prop and, and pull about 13 amps. So 500 grams of thrust. And the ones I've been looking at were actually some of these uh, 2300 or these 2400 kV motors. And these are uh, gold DYS motors there. Uh, I was looking at getting these actually because I thought they'd be a little better having the higher kV. And these are 2400 kV. But these are some ratings from some 2300 kVs and they were pulling 600 grams at 15 amps. So with the 5045 props they had to increase the amps a little bit because of the larger size bell that these carry. And then these 2205 motors that I have on currently on this VDQ210, they are 2633 kV and they pull 850 grams but they are also doing 20 amps of thrust. And that's with the 5045 prop. So on the same listing here, I, I also found these 5045 by three blade props. And with these uh, 1806 motors, if I were to, to flip up to the, uh, change up to the three blade props, I get another 100 grams of thrust, but my amps are gonna go up from 13 up to 18. And the reason it has, they get, the amps go up so high is because it's harder for these motors to spin these uh, extra, the two, uh, the extra blade on the uh, prop. It's just a little bit more weight. And to try and get it up to the 2300 kV is just tough for it. Well, the 2204s, they're going to go from 15 up to 22 amps, but you're also gaining like almost 200 grams of thrust on that. And these 2205s that I was looking at, they went from 850 to 950 grams and pulled 22 amps of thrust. The magic of these 2205 motors is that they still only run 2300 kV, but they're going to pull out 960 grams at 20 amps with the 5045 prop. That's just, I think it's because they use uh, a lot better magnets in here. And if you look inside the bottom, you can see how these magnets just magnets just look ginormous. And uh, if you bump up to uh, the three blade props, you're only going to get uh, about 
uh, 20 more grams of thrust, but you're also going to consume 22 more amps of uh, power. So this here doesn't look too bad, 900 grams at 20 amps. And then 20 amps will also run a little longer uh, your flight times than your, 20, than your, than, uh, your three blade props pulling 22 amps. So I'm going to be switching from these uh, 2300 1806 motors up to the uh, 2205 2300 kV motors and my and my grams per thr of thrust should almost double so I'm really really hoping that this is going to help me start winning some more races <laughs> now these are available from a number of places but these actually came from GearBest and uh, they've been pretty good to me with uh, motors and stuff anyway if you have any questions about these red bottom motors, you can feel free to leave in the comments. If you have any strong opinions on them, please leave in the comments too. I'd love to hear what you have to say about them. But hopefully, once I get these on my new quad, hopefully I'll start winning some races. At least getting up to second and third place. We had a race recently and the best I got was fifth, which was not fun to only get fifth. So, anyway, questions, leave in the comments. Strong comments, leave in the comments. I want to hear them. And if you have any other questions for me, leave them there too. And I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.